Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create the popular post section of a blogger template. So this is our progress as of now. We have the header section, we have the blog section, and then here we have the contact section and also the footer. Now after the blog section, we need to have a list of popular posts. So if you go to the original design, here we can see at the bottom of the blog section here we can see we have a section called popular posts and in this we will have some popular posts displayed over here so this is what we're going to add in our blogger template we already have the styles written for the design so we can just copy and paste the styles and uh, then we can make some minor changes for the selectors and uh, everything will be all right now if you haven't watched the previous videos you can watch it i will leave the link of the playlist in the description below so we had started this uh, website from scratch we built all the design from scratch and uh, now we are converting it to a blogger template. So let's get started. Alright, first of all, let's go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. So this is our theme code. So let's go just below the blog section. And uh, this is the end of the blog section. So after the blog section, we need to have the popular post section. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here. And here we'll change this comment to popular post section. And uh, we already have a widget in Blogger for popular posts. So let's add that. Now before that, let's see what is the structure of our HTML. So let's go to VS code and uh, this is our source code. Now if we go to the bottom of the blog section, here we can see we have the popular post section. So it is already inside the wrapper division. Here we can see this is where the wrapper division begins and uh, it is there for the blog section and also the popular post section and even the contact section. And in that we have a division with the class of popular posts container. So let's go to our theme code and here we can see that we have this division with the class of wrapper for the contact section and the division has ended over here. So we'll just open the division right here. So we'll type div with a class of wrapper. Now if you don't know why we are adding this div of wrapper, I have explained it in the previous videos. We already have some styles applied to a class called wrapper. So whenever we have some elements inside this division with the class of wrapper, all those styles will be applied to those elements. All right, so let's create a section. So we'll type B section and we'll give it an ID of B section popular posts. And we'll also give it a class because in our structure, we have this class called popular post container. And let's close the section right here. Now let's create a widget and uh, we'll give the type as popular posts. And we'll give it an ID of popular posts one. And let's close the widget right here. All right now let's click on save. And let's refresh our page. So here we can see three popular posts are being displayed right here. Now we can choose how many posts should be displayed over here and there are some more options that we can tweak. Now if you go to the design, we can see that here we have just the thumbnail and the title. We don't have the post snippet. So let's go back to the code and uh, right now we cannot see the whole code. So we have to reload our page. And if it is hard for you to scroll down to the correct section, you can just click on this uh, button called jump to widget and then select your widget from here. So our widget is popular post. Now this is the popular post widget. So first of all, we can see just like the blog widget, we also have some widget settings for the popular post widget. So the first one is number of items to show. We'll just set it to three because uh, in our design, we have three popular posts. And the next one is show thumbnails. So it will be set to true. The next one is show snippets. So this is basically an excerpt from your post. So this text right here. So we don't want that in our design. We have just the title. 
so let's set this to false and the time range we'll just leave it as last year all right now let's click on save and uh, let's refresh our page and here we can see we have the thumbnail and uh, we have just the title we don't have the snippets and we have three posts displayed over here right now we just have three posts so all of them are displayed over here now after you have a lot of posts only the popular posts will be displayed over here so three of the most popular posts will be displayed over here all right now let's go ahead and add the css so let's go back to our vs code and let's go to style.css and uh, let's see where is the popular post css so this is the popular post css let's copy everything from here till here and uh, let's go to the css so this is the end of the blog section so here we'll paste the css of the popular post section and now if we save this and if we take a look at the page and we can see we have some changes in our design we have the styles of the wrapper division applied over here now the first thing we'll do is we'll increase the size of these thumbnails now if you try to increase the size of this image using CSS then uh, the image can be blurry so let me just show you that I will inspect this image and we can see that it has a height and a width of 72 pixels so let me just change this to say 200 pixels now we can see that the images are blurry because the 72 pixels image is being stretched to 200 pixels so we don't want that we want to have a clear image so for that we have to make so for that we have to make the changes in our theme code itself so let's go over here and let's go to the popular posts and uh, let's see where is the thumbnail image shown and here we can see we have resize image and then we have the size right here so let's change this to 248 this is the size that looks fine on our design so let's save this and uh, let's reload our page now we can see we have a clear image with a large size right we have already copied our CSS but uh, the CSS are not being applied completely so for that we have to make some changes in the selector so let me just right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's see how everything is structured right we have this division with the class of popular post container and the CSS of that is being applied correctly now in that for each of the popular posts we have a UL now inside the UL we have list items so these are all different posts now let's see how it is structured in our design so if you go to VS code let's go to index.html and here we can see inside the popular post container we have a division with the class of popular posts so we have to replace this selector with the UL so let's go back and uh, let's go to the CSS so here we can see popular post container popular post so instead of this we have to type ul and uh, we also have to remove the bullets so let's type list style to none and let's save this and we can see that the styles are being applied now we'll also arrange it in a better way by typing justify content because it is already a display of flex so here we can type justify content and we'll set it to space between and let's save it right now everything is spaced correctly now the next thing is the image so let's right click and inspect and here we can see we have a division with the class of item thumbnail and in that we have the IMG so let's go over here and uh, this is the selector for the image so let's change this to popular post container item thumbnail image so let's save it All right now the images are styled correctly now the next thing is that uh, we will have a larger width for each of these list items so for that in a flex box you can type flex is equal to one so it will take up the most amount of space it can so let's type popular post container ULLI and we'll set the flex to 1 
Now we also have to set the flex direction of this division to columns. So let's right click and inspect. And uh, here we have this division with a class of item thumbnail only. And in that we have the thumbnail and the title. So we want both of them to be one below the other. So let's target this class item thumbnail only. So let's type popular posts container ul li. We can see it is inside the li item thumbnail only and uh, let's set the display to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column. Right now we have the correct width for each of the list items. Now the last thing we need to style is these titles. So for the titles we have this font called dancing script. Let's do that. We'll target the anchor tag. I don't think we need to have this uh, CSS rule right here. So let's delete that. And uh, here we will replace this with the selector of the title. So it is a division with the class of item title. So it is inside the li. So let's type popular post container ul li item title a and we'll also remove the underlines. All right, now let's save this. And we also have to change the color. So we'll change it to black. And now we can see that it is styled correctly. Everything is uh, just as we wanted in the design. Now let's take a look at the mobile version of our design and see whether everything works all right. So here we can see we have the header section, then we have the blog section. Everything looks all right in the blog section as well. And uh, then we have the popular post section. So we have to make some changes in this. And then we have the contact section. It also works all right and the footer is also all right. Now we have already added the styles for the mobile version in our theme code. So let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's see what are the selectors we need to change. So go to the media query and uh, in that let's find where are the styles for the popular posts. All right here for the popular posts we have to change it to UL because uh, all the popular posts are inside a UL. So let's change this to UL. And inside that we have each of the popular posts. So in place of this, we have to change it to the li inside the ul. So let's copy this and paste it over here. And uh, after that, we'll type li. So I think this should do the work for us. So let's save this. And uh, let's refresh our page. All right, now we can see the popular posts are working all right. We have each of these uh, post displayed one below the other and uh, everything looks all right. So that is basically how you add a popular post widget to your blogger template. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.